Hello guys, this is Dunn Computers and today I will be showing you a few tricks with Command Prompt. And most importantly I'll be showing you how to get past the error 5 on Command Prompt because it's really annoying and I couldn't do anything but I figured out how to get past it. And I'm sure some of you need some help. Um, just let me open up something. Okay. Um, I just put this thing on here so it's a little easier to see what I'm doing on my computer. Um, so first thing you're going to need to do is um, open up Command Prompt, which you can just go to um, the Start menu, and then you could search it in CMD and open it. Or you can type, or if you don't have this and you're on XP or something, you want to just go to the run thing and go to it, and then type in CMD. And it'll pop up. Um, but this is the problem I was talking about. Um, watch. So if I type in net users or net user, it shows all the people. And you're gonna um to change a password, you type in one. I'm just gonna type in administrator to change the administrator password. So you type net user administrator, and then you do space and put a star and then it'll say type a password for the new user now when you type it it doesn't show anything but it's it's still typing so I'm just gonna type in hello it doesn't do it it doesn't show it and you click enter and you retype it hello and it says system error five has occurred access is denied this is my this was my problem so I'm just gonna X this out and I'm gonna help you get past that because I'm sure a lot of you have this problem if not, then it's all good. I'll get back to uh, changing passwords later. Um, so what you want to do is you can go to the start, and then you could type in CMD, and then you take this, you take command prompt. Oh, I'm sorry. You um, type in CMD. You right click on CMD, and then you can either click Run as Administrator, but that only works for one time. Or you could just copy it, go to your desktop, and click paste shortcut, not paste, paste shortcut. And then on your desktop, it'll um, show up CMB shortcut. You can just rename it or leave it, doesn't really matter. Um, and then you're going to go to properties. You could also run as administrator on this, but you go to properties. And then where it says change icon, you can change it or whatever. You click advanced and run as administrator. This will keep it as administrator per permanently as long as it's on your desktop. And then you click apply or just OK. And now once you go to command prompt, it'll ask for administrator permission. So you just click yes. And then it's instead of saying it said Kyle here before, it, it says system32. So that means I'm running as administrator. And um, so I type in net user I have it, I'm going to type net user administrator and then space star and now type new password, I'll type hello hello again for you and it says the command was completed successfully as you can see right here so um, that solves the problem. I, it should work with XP, Vista, or Windows 7. I've used it with XP. There's a few ways. Um, if you cannot get the shortcut on here that I did when you paste, it's really simple. I'm just going to delete this for right now. Um, you just run a notepad, type in command.com, and you save it as whatever you want but I save it as cmd dot bat batch file with batch file and you save it to your desktop or whatever and then once you are um here it is and then you could just click run as administrator and that will work out for you um okay that's just another way to do it but the easier way is just pasting the shortcut on here.
Okay guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way to use Notepad and um, so let it load so it does all the work for you and then all, it just automatically goes to setting the password. Password instead of just saying command. I'm having to um, type in like net user and then net user administrator and then space star. Now to type a password like that, it'll automatically get to that for you. Now what you gotta do is you open a notepad and you type in um you type in at echo off net user pause net user administrator star pause now the administrator part right here you could just make it any account whatever your account name like if you go to the start menu it appears as Kyle because this is my um, this is my account that I'm on but I'm also the administrator so I just hit the administrator and then click pause and then you click save as and I'll save it to my documents like one two three four or just like hello dot bat batch file I'll save it as all files it doesn't really matter and then I'm save so now I'll go to my documents and here is home and now it's pressing the key to the type of password for the user and if I type a password for the user then um, it'll say system error five occurred like what I said before so what you have to do is you right click hello you create a shortcut there'll be hello shortcut and then you do the same thing as with command from you put properties advanced run as administrator okay and then it'll work it'll ask for permission or at least mine does It'll show all the accounts. It automatically goes this. You press the key, and then it says type of password and user by type. Hello, enter. Hello, enter, and it successfully worked. That's just one of the things.